Jimmy Levine from Levine and Sons Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning in Detroit, Michigan. Most of the service calls we run are improper use of the garbage disposal due to the fact of not enough water. You always want to run cold water before you use it. Gradually, we have some banana peels here. You're going to put a little bit in the grinding chamber. We're not going to stuff it full of debris. Turn the power switch. Let the disposal work. We have some more roughage of banana peels. We're going to put that in. You're not going to stick your hand all the way in the garbage disposal and lose your fingers. Let it grind. And then when we're done, here's the most important thing. Turn the disposal off and let the water run for a little bit to wash all the debris down the waistline. That's proper usage of a garbage disposal. Water before, gradually put the debris in, turn the disposal on, gradually put more debris in, let the disposal do its job, shut off the unit, the disposal, and let the water flow to carry everything down the waistline. Do's and don'ts for garbage disposals. You always want to run cold water with your garbage disposal because even if you're careful and you don't dump grease down the drains, there's still a little bit of grease or oils on your plate and you want the oils to solidify and go down the drain as little pellets. Stringy hangs are definite no in a garbage disposal. Corn husks, stems from long stem roses, any type of flower stalks, uh, artichoke is really bad. The disposal can't mix it up into small enough pieces for it to pass through the drain assembly. It's going to get clogged, it's going to become mush. Although some of the newer disposals claim they, you, it doesn't matter what you put in them, they can handle the stringy stuff. Good things to put in disposals are peach pits, anything hard, a small chicken bone, a soft lamb chop bone, coffee grounds, a scorching action occurs. There's two plates. There's one plate in the disposal with two posts that have these swing arms. So the, the plate spins and the swing arms, they kind of swivel like this and they throw the food to the side for the shredding ring to cut it up. Okay, and if you never put anything hard, the swing arms lock up on the post, the disposal runs out of balance, prematurely burn out the motor, doesn't sound right, and it doesn't grind properly because you're not throwing the debris to the side. So hard items are good for the disposal. Common service calls we may run for garbage disposal um, problem would be the disposal's humming but nothing's happening. That would indicate in the grinding chamber there's something stopping the grinding chamber from turning. A bone could be wedged in there. Maybe a kid put a, a penny in there, uh, a, a pop cap for a um, pop can some piece of metal, a paper clip we've taken out of disposals, something's jammed. So what happens is the grinding chamber can't turn and the motor's humming. Which leads us into the second call is my disposal's dead, nothing's happening. What's probably happened is something's jammed in the grinding chamber. So the motor's trying to turn, it can't turn. Instead of burning out the motor, this reset, it's like an internal fuse is going to pop. So what we would do is we would first Make sure the power's off at the switch on the wall. We would put the Allen wrench tool into the female end, right in the center of the disposal, try to free up the grinding chamber. Because the reset button's not going to pop unless something's jammed in the disposal. Free up the grinding chamber, hit the reset button, run water, turn the switch on the wall back on, and let it run through its cycle. Now if something's hard in there like a penny, it just may jam again. Then you're going to have to disconnect the whole garbage disposal from the sink, take it outside, wash it out with a hose, and try to pry out what's ever in the grinding chamber. But if it's just food that caused the stoppage in the grinding chamber to begin with, simply hitting the reset button after you free it up with this tool is all you need to do.